So, one more full set. We'll try to get higher up on the wall. There we go. That's much higher on the wall. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Yuval Rabbit. We are staring at the back of Masayama's S15 from FD. The new Link ECU V2s have been dropped. So we have three new cars to look at for today. So make sure you follow me on all social media. All the found in the description box below. Let's get to it. Masayama's S15 is definitely a very cool kitted S15 with those cutouts in the front, the very wide, almost like race car style body kit on this by now Japan S15. So this is one of the three cars we're going to be taking a look at. We're going to be driving them all, giving you my impressions on them. Definitely love how the car looks. You know, the Link ECU car pack, definitely a very cool car pack because they look almost identical to the actual cars. So let's go for a full rip and Masayama's Buy Now Japan S15. We are at Gauntlet or New Jersey here for some testing. We'll probably switch up tracks after we run these cars here. We're running some high bank wall runs. We can take a look at these cars a little bit more in some maybe mountain road driving and stuff like that. But we're here just going to run the wall here in New Jersey and see what we can do with these new cars. So definitely don't have any practice with these cars. So, uh, full send. Not sure what gearing or anything we're gonna have to do. This gear looks like... Oh, nope, fourth gear. Alright, so it's gonna be a fourth gear. Oh, already wrecking this car. So it's gonna be a fourth gear hit. Some, uh, turbo lag noticing in this car, as you can see. A lot of clutch kicks are evolving with this car. So we're going to go for a one more run in this car, and then we're going to take a look at the two other cars that are in the Link ECU pack that we did get. We did get Matfield's Vet as well as Travis Rear's Old Red. So let's go see what we can do for run two. Fourth gear is where we're going to have to stay. Nowhere near where I want to be on the wall, but for first shakedowns of these cars, definitely love how this car looks. Oh, almost lost it with the angle. Trying to throw more angle than I needed. The wall, definitely a very hard track to master for sure. So we're going to go switch up to another car, which is a V8 car. See if we can conquer the wall with a V8 car to adjust the audio limit for Matt Fields' car. So Matt Fields' teal and blue Falcon tires, Corvette, that heat wave visual, Drift Cave, Corvette, Vortex Supercharger, Lucas Oil. Definitely a very cool looking car and got that tried and true yellow headlights, full interior underglow and everything like that as all the Lynx cars have. And it's definitely a very sweet looking uh, model and he even has his his seats in there. That's awesome. Drift cave seats, everything like that. So we're going to go full send on Matt Fields' car. Had to turn the audio down a little bit for Fields' car. Oh, man, this is loud. I do love the heat wave on the taillight, just like his actual car. Heat wave visual. Rocking the, the blue heat wave visual glasses here on my PC. So we're going to heat up these tires. In the burnout box. Then we're gonna try and scuff up the fronts a little bit. Probably should have done it in the burnout box grass. So let's see what we can do in his car. Vortex Supercharged Corvette. Yeah, nowhere near up on the wall, but you know what? We're trying not to wreck these cars first run out. picked it up on the creep. This, like I said, this track is not an easy track to run, but it's definitely a fun track. And this is the figure, not the uh, crossover style, this is the 2019 style. So, this car is just 
spinning the tires loose definitely like I said these these cars are very great models definitely a lot of time and effort put into these cars so one more full set we'll try to get higher up on the wall there we go that's much higher on the wall that's kind of where we wanted to be on that slow down there kind of get in the crease Oh boy, we lost it. We lost it going through at the end of that zone. I keep thinking this is a full outer zone, but it's actually a pull in zone. So definitely was able to run the wall much better in Fields' vet. So we got one more car to take a look here, and that is Travis Reader's old red. Now we'll probably get switch up tracks and take one of these cars out elsewhere. So Travis Reader's old red, his S13 is definitely very very different than most of the s13s in fd or 14s and 15s this car his tried and true chassis old red it's definitely a fun car to watch he's a great driver to watch always fun the big rc antenna on top so v8 powered and uh we're gonna go full send in the gt radials old red here we got underglow and everything Kind of popping off red line. Oh, there we go. Do a little bit of heat up. We we're able to get on the wall, Math Fields car. So let's see if we can actually get up on the wall in old red. Oh, don't hit that box. So let's head in to the wall stadium. It says five miles an hour. I was doing 35. <clears throat> it's all right. It's Travis Reader's old red here wall. This gear pull looks like kind of mid high line. Kind of very floaty. Now these cars are not tuned at all. I haven't messed with anything on this tuning. These are out of download straight. Man, I don't know if we have enough tire to go anywhere else. We, I mean, we're going to go full send probably on a non-FD track. Almost spinning it out at the end. But we got this. One more run in Travis Reader's Old Red. And then we're going to probably take this, I'm thinking, see how far we can go in the Dragon with it. And go the Dragon and see what we can do with it there. One final run here at Wall. Ooh, nice and high on the wall. Coming off a little bit early though. Kind of set us up for here though. Not as deep in the pocket as I want to be. Quick click though. Not a bad run, but we are almost dead on tires. So we're going to take this car to the Dragon, I feel. We're going to see what we can do with this car at the Dragon. So let's go to the Dragon, see how far we can go before we blow our tires. So we're going to pull our tire gauge over here so you guys can see our tire wear situation. So we're here at the Dragon in Travis Reader's Old Red. Pull. I already tell this is going to be crazy. Here it is. To run that sequential box. Oh, save it, save it. We got it. Pro car on private roads. Do not attempt this at home. All the left foot brakes. Oh yeah, we are gonna be out of tires before we're even like halfway through this course. Same fourth gear though. I was floating that handbrake over. I was floating my hand over the handbrake to see if we actually needed it. We didn't really need it. Kind of just using brake and clutch kiss to transition the car. Oh, we are riding the white line. Oh man. We're gonna yank a little e brake there. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna die. Oh. Sorry, Travis, we're here. We're good. We just heated up our front tires. That's, that's what we needed to do, right? I stand corrected. We may have enough tires to run a decent amount on this track. We can go till it breaks, though. So we blow tires or we'll run completely out of grip. Just sauce in here. We're about halfway through our tires, I think. Almost a backwards entry. We got this. Oh my. One tire drop. Managing to hold this pro car out here. Super excited about how this is handling right now. Oh no. As I say that, we oscillate the car a little bit. Clutch kick and forth, a little handbrake yank there. Oh. Thought that turn was a lot sharper than it was. Haven't been on the dragon in a minute, so I totally forgot the turns. Back to this car can hold that kind of crab walking through that section. Oh, one tire drop. Yeah, you can tell our tires are much better on where. Oh, oh, we're starting to see sparks. We are starting to see sparks. We have no more gears. Oh, we're done. <laughs> That's gonna do it here for this episode. Here on a set of course, the Linky CU car back. Definitely add a little fun with it. Kind of blue tires put Reader's car into the trees. Sorry, Travis. So hope you guys like it and enjoy. And hope you guys follow me and sub. We would appreciate all the support. Tap that bell notification. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm your rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.